Welcome to another episode of the Unbound Book Babes. This week we are going to be chatting about what we're currently reading and some of the things that we're working on that we're going to be rolling out in the future. So stay to the end if you would like that announcement, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. Kristen. Yes, Bobby. Tell me, tell me what you got going on. Oh, man. Um, I am knee deep in Frieda McFadden psychological thrillers. Um, You know how once you start down one path and then the books just keep like Amazon's just like, hey, did you read this one? Hey, did you read this one? And then finally, I was like, how many books does this word wizard have out? Uh, And it's 25. I thought it was just like the housemaid and the housemaid's secret. Um, and it's 25 different thrillers of different varieties. That is a lot. Yeah, but they're like crack. Like you can't put them down once you start. And oh. she picks really good, unique people for her audiobooks. So I'm very addicted and that's pretty much. <laughs> that's it. That's what you've got going on. <laughs> but it's since they're all different though like you have to get to know each like obviously that's how books work you have to get to know the characters <laughs> so Frida McFadden yeah it's a lot of fun they're very intense and they all start off so slow like she really lulls you into it it's um do you enjoy psychological thrillers um I don't know <laughs> I I realize I think I'm very specific about my books and mm-hmm. I don't know I've never been like a psychological thriller anything like mm-hmm. even movies so like can you okay wait can you give me some examples of psychological thriller movies because you know how crappy I am with this type of stuff there's some there's some really extreme ones. Like I think one of the most extreme psychological thrillers would probably be like Shutter Island with Leonardo DiCaprio mm-hmm. and they're like one of those where you don't know what's real or what's fake. But then there's like movies God, I can't even think of a good for example cuz I don't like psychological thriller <laughs> movies. I just like action and adventure or horror. I don't mm. like those types of movies. Gotcha. Like, give me a jump scare over like mental torture in a movie. Yeah, I don't. I take a jump scare. <laughs> Do you take a jump scare? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't really know. I don't. I don't think I. I I'm just gonna stand by what I already said of that. I just. I don't think I read. I'm not drawn towards that type of genre at all. Yeah. And I think psychological thriller is a strong term. They're just good quality plot twists. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Because um, it's not one of those where you're like, oh my God, up is down and down is up. And like, I don't know if she's dreaming or if she's on drugs or if she's, it's not that type of, mm. it's like murder, murder twists. Gotcha. Like true crime murder twists is more where it's at. Um, okay. But I figured I figured you did not like them because last time we put up the cover for like you shouldn't have come here. You're like, oh yeah, that's a book I definitely avoid. <laughs> yes, and like I am a, a big fan of the Mile Higher podcast, and they do some true crime stuff on there, and but it's like very real, right? Like they don't they're not books, but like that type of stuff, which that's what I equate a psychological thriller to be. And, Mm -hmm. or I think they could be in parallel very easily. And I don't like that type of stuff. Now, the content I like on Mile Higher is like they're, (laughs) um, they're very out, quote unquote, out there abstract thought processes. And like, um, what are they called? Conspiracy theories and like research about (laughs) like, um, other beings from other worlds or like Sasquatch or like the Mothman, like stuff like that. UFOs. I like their content in that capacity. Um, yeah. 
so I'm I'm gonna say no, I don't I don't vibe with that. <laughs> That's good. That's I'm I'm learning something about you. I didn't I didn't know that about you. Yeah, I mean I've listened to some like my sister tried to get me to listen to like my is it my favorite murderer and they have a game too or something. Oh my god. I love my favorite murder. I'm obsessed with it. They I don't know if they have a game. Probably. They strike me as those types of people. Theirs isn't very heavy no, into I think murder. Hers was morbid. Oh, that one is very intense. Yeah, because she's a of, great duo. Yeah, she's a mortician, was- right? Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and they do very intensive research, and it's you know they do like multi-part episodes on certain cases. But my favorite murder. It's just two girls getting together, chatting about what they're watching on TV and then they spend a little time talking about a murder and then they laugh a little bit and then they spend like a little time. But my favorite part on my favorite murder is that one of them will have like a follow-up question and she'll be like, Oh, did this happen? And the one who's telling the story will be like, Oh, I don't know. I didn't look that up. (laughs) That is probably the realest (laughs) perception of a podcast you could ever get. Like, I hope that like, our viewers through our different content that we put in different places uh, understand that's our vibe too, but books. (laughs) It is the most, it is, you would, you'd probably jive with that one. That one's super fun. Cause you could just listen to the like intro, which is like 45 minutes long and the whole episode's an hour. So they do like eight minutes a piece of murder. So you could probably just listen to the intro and just skip the murders. Oh, that'd and be- still be a huge fan of that podcast. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right then. They have a lot of people complain. They're like, just get to the murder. <laughs> uh, you're uh, still uh, here. Thanks for <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, also, you if doing? you're still here and you haven't clicked off of this episode yet, Go ahead and leave a comment down below of the, um, let's not do the knife emoji because I don't want to be like flagged by YouTube. Do they have a poison poison bottle emoji? No. Um, let's do. Oh, we could do a crystal ball. The crystal ball. Let's do the crystal ball. Crystal ball and the comments if you're still here. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified every time we upload. It really helps us out. But yeah, talking about, because you were like, uh, like, talk about hard to digest, right? Like, this is going back after we spiraled off topic. (laughs) Uh, You guys, I'm currently reading six books in different formats, but one that I've been struggling with for three weeks Three weeks I've been struggling with The Witcher. I'm at 80%. And have you read The Witcher yet? I'm working on it. The translation, I mean, we're doing, spoiler alert, we're doing a whole episode or two. Yeah. Um, about The Witcher. We're both reading The Witcher. We're going to jump into it and do a full breakdown. So if you want to read along with us and do the full breakdown with us, um request it from libby now because it was what a 20 week wait it was so long (laughs) um so don't request it from my library but um request it from some other library that's not mine (laughs) or mine (laughs) (laughs) so 80 percent in it's just your library (laughs) yeah 80 percent into the witcher it's just getting to a point where i'm like okay 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 you know (laughs) I'm like 80% and I'm finally like, we're here. We have arrived at some information. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, so I now understand why season one of the show, which I have not yet seen, we're doing a cross comparison. Um, I now understand why season one is the first book in the second book. Because 80% of the first book is jargon. It's 
just jargon. And so, I mean, it's good jargon. I made it through and it was pleasant. It wasn't something I wanted to reach for every day, though, and, like, just consume until I was over. I was just like, oh, this is amenable. I can, this is nice. And, but... I, yeah. So, originally when I picked this, I didn't know that it was a translation. Um, so I think that makes it, like, choppy. I, it's got to. It's got to. Except I was very surprised, <laughs> I don't know why, that undulating, 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 Undu undulating, undulating. Undulating. <laughs> was a word that is in both languages. I was like, huh, that was a really <laughs> unique word that you translated. <laughs> Oh, we're Googling what's undulating in <laughs> Polish. <laughs> so I was like, wow. And I believe in you, Bobby. I think you're going to have a flawless Polish pronunciation. Having never heard the language out loud. Well, you know what Google does for you? It says it out loud. <laughs> All right. Ready? We're listening. Faliste. 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 Is undulating? Undulating in in Polish is pronounced Feliste. 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 <laughs> yep. That's a very tiny word in Polish. Yeah. F A L I S T Y. <laughs> Feliste. Wavy. Undulating, right? Undulating. Oh, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Who's shocked? Nobody. <laughs> Why vowels what, are what involved? <laughs> Okay, what, so what I, I said U N G. It's it's got more than one U. I said Jill undulating. It's undulating. Is that right? I don't know. It's too small. I can't see it. Oh, I'm too far away. Undulating. 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 It's undulating. That's how I mean when you pronounce undulating. it. Undulating. 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 Is that English? Undulating. Yes, it says English. <laughs> what is the definition? <laughs> Does it give you a definition of it? Yes. Uh, no. It does in Polish. Wavy, undulating, corrugated. Rolly, curly, you're not to use, wavy. You're not allowed to use the word in the definition. Oh, that's the Polish one. Right. <laughs> um, undulating, undulating, undulating. I've said it so many times. <laughs> we now no longer know how to actually say this word. <laughs> We've talked ourselves out of any way. You're going to have to. Can you play the one in English? Undulating. Can you hear it? Nope. <laughs> Un undulating. It says undulating. 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 There's no G or J. <laughs> what am I looking at here? <laughs> the English language <laughs> and why I can't spell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> In what world does? N-D-U make undulating. I don't know. Okay, let's move on. I'm over this word. I've said it too many times. Okay. <laughs> oh. Anyways. Um, how did we get here? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, the witcher says undulating okay. a lot. <laughs> I think he just said it the one time. Did they say it a lot? I'm not very far into it. I didn't think so. I was like, I don't remember <laughs> where that was said. It was in like the first two pages. And I was like, wow, that's a really interesting <laughs> word for a translation. <laughs> but, um... Hmm. I don't know why I thought that. It's just a normal... It's, an, it's a normal word that I would never use. I've never used in my normal day life. My whole face is sore. <laughs> okay. What else are you reading? <laughs> I'm also reading one physical book, which I have not picked up in forever. Um, Her Majesty's Royal Coven. 
it's not too heavy. It's so light. It's not even. <laughs> <laughs> it's the opposite. Um, I think I'm on like chapter seven. It's by Juno Dawson. I don't hate it. I'm just not in the mood for it again. And I'll put a tag to the episode or a link in the description box because tags haven't been working. But um, uh, on the whole episode about how and when and where I learned I was a mood reader. So, <laughs> so I'm just not in the mood for it. You know, I'm trying to read like a professional book every once in a while. I have. Three. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I am 23% of the way through Grit by um, Angela Duckworth. I'm listening to it um, on Hoopla. It's okay. I, I've i listened to this book when I first graduated college. Um, and I honestly do think that even 23% in, it's reminded me of a couple things. So I'm glad I picked it back up. I have one in my physical library that's on red that I want to read really bad. It's called Talking to Strangers. Um, so I'm tr I want to get through Grit so I can read that one really bad. Um, I'm hoping to finish Grit this week and The Witcher. That's my goal. Grit and The Witcher this week. I'm also listening to on Hoopla, Children of Fallen Gods. I'm 65% through. It's by uh, Carissa Broadbent. It's the second book in a series, uh, a trilogy, and I am the most excited to be reading that one because it's an epic fantasy and I have not <laughs> had time to listen to it in forever. Part of why I want to get grit out of the way is because I want to go back to that. I also accidentally, I had paused my, I didn't realize that I paused my Audible membership. So it kicked back on this month. And charged me. Uh -huh. I thought I had canceled it. But I did now. But I had a credit to use up. I'm going to let that hang out. But why I have it for the rest of this month. I'm going to try and finish the 20 hours left of Outlander. That I have. <laughs> and I will Man, say. <laughs> I will say. Um. I am really like, I like, yeah, I'm on chapter 11, 20 hours left in the book. And I finally am like, all right, I'm here for this. Like that one's picking up and I'm starting to really enjoy it. But damn. Has she, I mean, you know, the premise, the overall premise of Outlander, right? Yeah. She's in the other. Okay. So she's she went back in, in time. 1740, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. She, it, it takes a long time to get back there. It's the beginning is unnecessarily long. It's so long. It's so long. <laughs> so she she's finally there. And I'm as far into, spoiler alerts, y'all. She's as far into, they're riding horses through, she's, she's finally out of the castle and going on that little journey with James, the, uh, the brother, to like collect money from people who couldn't come and give the tithe or whatever it is or pay the taxes or whatever. Mm -hmm. So she, they're yeah. on the road. And I'm like, I know this is going to be good. Like, <laughs> I, anytime <laughs> these stories get on horseback, they end up good. <laughs> like, shit starts to happen. I'm excited. Um, I'm also really, you know, you recommended this to me. Oops. You recommended this to me, and so did um, one of my other friends. And so I... I am starting to enjoy it. And then, but the thing is, I'm really nervous because, like, I know there's it's SA in this, and I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm going to get so upset and so angry. And, like, there was already one in close call incident where it, there was, it was an assault, but not, I don't think there's, there's no good assault, but, like, uh, I'm scared. Minor. Like, j just less. Just less. I th I think... um, I think you could probably Google what, like, the timestamps from when that starts to when it stops. When it picks back up, when mm. it stops. Um, That's a good idea. Because it's not crucial to the story. And if that is what's going to stop you from reading, I would just Google the timestamps and skip it. Well, it's not that. like it adds... um. I don't I don't think it's a make or break for how graphic it is. 
Yep, I it's don't... so unnecessary. I'm Googling Because it's that. not just essay. It's also... Are you allowed to say... I don't know. I'll bleep it out. Yeah. Because um, it's, it's a lot to take in. And so, like... Yeah. I mean, I talked to Colleen about it, and she was like, I skip over it if we, like, rewatch it or watch it with somebody else, because it doesn't really add anything to the story. And it's very out of pocket for the rest of the book. Oh my god. It's so random. It's not so random. It like makes sense in the storyline, but it's like this nice chill book until that. And then you're like, what? What? Yeah, I'll probably yeah. skip it. I'll skip it. <laughs> yeah. If it's that graphic, no thank you. Because like, yeah. I didn't if, like the butcher and the red. Because of the torture. Like, I stopped the that. The Butcher and the Red. What's that one? Uh, it's a... I haven't heard it's, it. Let me look it up. I think it's by the lady who does the Morbid podcast. Yeah. It's written oh, by... Oh, it is! Yeah, so it's about a mortician or a... F uh, a forensic pathologist and a serial killer. I got, like, in an hour, hour and a half in and clicked off oh and she's got another oh. one called the butcher game i didn't know that I might check those out. it comes out september the second book comes out september 17th of this year mm. yeah no not for me dog so i'll probably skip it mm. i don't do well with yeah. that that's good to know i will um maybe butcher and blackbird is also not for you potentially <laughs> I I saw the name Butcher and that's why I haven't ever picked it up. I was like, ah, this sounds like too much. But you know what's really funny? Like Sweeney Todd, I love that shit. Like I love Sweeney Todd. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a more art up. to that one and not just musical art, yeah. Cinematography yeah. was just really like cool. Classic. Classic butchering. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> so messed up sounding. <laughs> so, so messed up. I don't know how much of this I should censor. <laughs> like, <laughs> Probably all of it. Just one long beep. I could just cut it out. No, one long beep. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. I feel hopeful because I did reorganize my, like, monthly reading list to focus on finishing series that I'm in the middle of. Oh, I keep hitting my mic today, y'all. I'm so sorry if you hear that. <laughs> um, mic check. <laughs> one, two. Uh, so, like, new releases. I have a couple of them that are coming out this year still. And so I really want to pick those up. But um, I'm going to focus on basically finishing series of couple new releases and then our book club which is over on our buy me a coffee page which is linked down below you we're going to fully announce what that looks like next week so tune in for next week's episode for more information on that because we're going to lay down all the deets about it but you will have to go through our buy me a coffee to get involved and you'll see everything that we're giving to you involved with that membership uh next week and we have the books already picked out uh, as well. So, and it starts in June. So, give you a little bit of time to finish up some things and then pick up a new, a new book. Our first, our first choice. I'm really excited about this because these are <laughs> books that are, are like I've been wanting to get to, but I didn't have an excuse. So now I have an excuse. Um, so yes, tune in next week for more on that. And they're all fantasies. I did not. There's no psychological thrillers from Kristen. There's no <laughs> which is butchering. Lot. I can't make any promises. I haven't read any of them yet. But <laughs> yeah, I have. They're, they're, they're not my normal. They're not my uh, current side gig <laughs> status. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I did. Uh, I did make a post. Um, just before this episode on our buy me a coffee page actually sharing my every month 
list of books for the for the whole year so I went back and I included the whole thing the whole chart so you can see what I have read and you can see what I'm trying to and planning to read and a sneak peek in the book club thing if you pop over there because those are listed but um yes so we will um I'm so excited about this because it'll be fun it'll be super fun yes I haven't been in, like a legit book club that didn't just evolve into wine and cheese night in ever. Yeah. So we should. I am very excited to be in a real book club. Yeah. I am too. Do you remember this series that we have been hunting down? Um, because it <gasps> looked like Throne of Glass covers. Yes. The OG Throne of Glass covers, you guys. <laughs> yes. Tell me more. You've been hunting this down, right? So it like a little video popped up and then we couldn't find it again. And then we're both like, damn that book was like popping up and popping up and now I can't find it anywhere. I have found it, lost it, found it, bought a copy, uh, <laughs> misplaced it, found it. <laughs> so that is on my list to like start that book. Um, and I have continuously mispronounced this series. Um, so I'm going to try my best. The Levan Levanthria series by A.P. Beswick. Um, a lot of people are loving the world building, so I'm guessing that means it's off to a bit of a slow start, but rave reviews about the world building that he's doing in this, I think, ever-growing series. I don't know how many books are in it, but I just have one, and that'll be my first physical book of the year. Hold Did on. you find it? I'm, I'm trying to spell it. No, I got it. Because I kept spelling Leviathan, and it's not Leviathan. So, um, one, two, three, oh, four, five, six, it appears. Okay, so there is definitely, so there's a point five, so like a point five book in the series, and book one is A Force of Vanity and Failure. Then there's book yep. two, A Sea of Sorrow and Scorn, A Kingdom of Courage and Cruelty, book three. A Stone of Destiny, Destiny, oh my god, <laughs> A Stone of Destiny and Despair, book four, House of Power and Plot, it doesn't list a number for this, and then A Frost of Fear and Fortitude, also does not list a, yeah, they're floating right around four, four more stars, like, pretty consistently. It does seem like the first one is the first one is the lowest rated. So it's probably you're probably right. It's probably slow. Some world building and I'm guessing it's like every other fantasy book where you are just thrown into like a really weird part in somebody's life and you're trying to catch up with like what's going on? Why do you have horns? Why doesn't that other guy have horns? Why does he have a tail? Why don't you have a tail? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the Witcher and Crescent City just went through my mind. Uh, I'm like, who's who, what's what? Do all these creatures really exist or is this just made up? Are you on mushrooms? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the answer is always yes. <laughs> Uh, alrighty. This is a good That's episode. <laughs> this is a good episode. It made me laugh a lot. Remember to tune in next week to find out more about our Unbound Book Babes book club that we are starting. I promise there's a better name coming. Uh, and until next time, keep reading.